Hello. I'm here to make a short little video of uh, some things I got and some things I made. And this is a sterling silver necklace. And I put some of the mood beads on it. And sterling with sterling silver balls. And it's just like a sterling silver ball necklace. So I just love the way that these change colors. But so I will be wearing that. And I posted a video, uh, not a video, but a picture of me on Facebook wearing my necklace that I made um, with the quartz and the conch and the, uh, the melon uh, shell bead. And I made this last night. I finished the turtle. And he's uh, got the, the stone that changes color in him, too. So this is the one, he's, he's, uh, he's smaller and he's a little wonky. So I'm going to see, send him probably to my granddaughter and we'll see if she wants him. But he turns some of the prettiest colors. He'll even turn purple at times. My fingernails are terrible. I'm sorry. I was meant to do them before I came on here. And then... I went on um, Martha's channel, where she does beading and paper crafting, and I made this, and this is quartz, quartz crystal, uh, just quartz, <laughs> not a crystal, it's a rock, and this is the back. The didn't my weaving didn't turn out too good on it, so that's um, I'm telling on myself. So it's a, a little design to kind of hide some of my mess ups, but everybody does that, you know. If, it, if they're not perfect, they'll find a way to hide it, and it's not that bad. The weaving I did is not that bad now. The back. Because I wanted to connect all the sides together. It's a little spacey there, but. So I had to start a new, uh, a new, uh, wire thread. Because I ran out. So I'm not real good at starting new wires. <laughs> whenever I'm weaving. I've been doing it for a while, but that's uh, something I just hadn't quite got down yet. And then I um, ordered, which I can't find in the store, some copper toggles. So I just got these in a few minutes ago. And they're really nice looking. Very pretty. I got those. And then I got some gold ones. Because the kind of gold that you find like at the Hobby Lobby and Michael's is a really yellow, yellow, yellow gold. So ugly. Or you get the antique dark gold, which never seems to match anything. So I got these ones. And, uh, they're plated. I think they're 18 karat plated so it's not a uh, gold filled but man they're beautiful they're like it's hammered really pretty and it wasn't it wasn't a bad price I can't remember but got quite a few of them I think for like eight eight bucks or something so that's not a bad deal at all might have been 12 I can't remember These are 8 or 12. So. Mm 
but not terribly expensive. And then um, I did go to Michael's and I got these. And these are dyed, uh, I think, agate. Yep. And so I wanted to get some of these because I really have a hard time finding uh, amethyst cabochons. So this, I don't have to use the hoe on them. I can wire wrap them without the hoe. And then if I, you know, wanted to just do one with the string it through the hoe and then just loosely, you know, wire wrap a design on there or whatever, I can do that. Uh, and I've been collecting uh, some yellow things. We've got some in a, um, what's it called? Sea glass. So I got these to blend in with them. Or for using anything else. And these are agate also. This is planning for summer already because it gets warm here quick. We have more warm weather down here than we do cold, so. But it would make a good um, bracelet. Yeah. Or, and use three of them for a necklace. Or two of them, put one on each side with a, your main thing in the middle. Or you use this for the main deal in the middle and wire wrap it. This is, I just, a lot, I've seen this and I see a lot of things I could do with it, so I got them. Hmm. Hopefully that's just dirty. Yeah, I think it's going to wipe off. And I bought some uh, new uh, beading wire. So, I like the way this stuff lays. It drapes. So I haven't had anything bad to happen yet with it, but then again, these are very thin. I got the very thin ones because I want to try to string some of my opal on there. The opal that I've got, it, when I try to use, and this is sterling, when I try to use it, see how thick it is? It's broke, I broke all the opal. So this is much thinner. So I'm going to try it. You might go through there. I broke, I don't know, maybe six, seven pieces of opal. So I'm not very happy. So I was wanting maybe in order to save the opal to come up with a way to engage, engage it with um, epoxy, I think, the clear stuff. Uh, so and make it into a cabochon with all my little broken pieces of opal. So that's something that I have in mind that I want to do coming up, you know. And um, I'm, I've got to clean my table off. As y'all can see, it's a freaking mess. And so when I get it cleaned off, I'm, I want to come on and make a video and, and do a bracelet. Because I had told somebody, I don't know, it's probably been almost a month ago, that I was going, well, they requested for me to, uh, to do a tutorial on the bracelets that I, where I use a um, 28 gauge wire instead of thread and so I'm going to do that but you know I've got to have the focal piece the way I make my wrap bracelets and I usually wire wrap that with uh, two openings on the end or would you say uh, a way to you know thread your leather on so Anyway, we'll get to that whenever I come back. I plan on making one. I don't know if it's going to be today, but I'm, I, it's going to be try to make it my next video. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and uh, watch it, watch for the video that I'm talking about to come out. And uh, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.